Hey, welcome back to our continuing look at the Star Wars Power of the Force toy line from the late 1990s. This time we'll be looking at Lack Sivrak, which was released as part of the Freeze Frame series in Wave 2, probably in 1997. Very quickly, Freeze Frame simply means these figures were packaged with one of these little projector slides with a picture you could uh, put in a projector and, and show up on your screen or on your wall, which... The, if, you, if you're a youngster watching this, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. It's outmoded, outdated technology. Uh, but I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not 100% certain who Lack Sivrak is. I suspect it's a cantina denizen from episode 4 for the most Eisley Cantina. It might be the werewolf. That's exactly what he looks like, really, uh, with the claws and everything. But uh, don't hold me to that. Uh, uh, this figure hasn't been in the collection too long, but I can tell you this, this one's a little more difficult to find than most of these others in the collection. I, I was patient and I finally got this one for my target, five bucks or less. Uh, that's all I pay for these. I refuse to pay more for any of these figures because they're not worth more than that to me. And as evidenced by uh, the hundreds of these in my collection now, they're not worth more than that to anyone except for the uh, the scalpers who can't give these away. But that they're not that's not going to prevent them from trying. Now this figure looks a little different in the way that he's molded. Note his his goat like legs here. So this is a, a Star Wars alien. So the, sort of the satyr look with the backwards, you know, the extra joint there. Uh, I guess that's technically the ankle. I don't know goat physiology well enough. Or, uh, uh, anatomy enough to tell you what that's called, but uh, we do have the standard points of articulation, except his head doesn't move that well, okay, and I wouldn't force it. Uh, when, whenever I test these and the head doesn't move well, that's fine. I'll leave it the way it is. I, have, I haven't forgotten how easy it was to break the heads off of those vintage Kenner Star Wars figures from the 70s and 80s, so I'm just not going to mess with it. He comes with two accessories. He comes with a blaster that uh, kind of, sort of fits in his right hand. And he comes with another blaster, this rifle thing that doesn't fit in his hand at all. So they've devised this little clip so you can clip it onto his arm. And, and it's as good a way as any to do it. Uh, again, I don't know why they insist on packaging two weapons with, with these figures back in the 1990s, but they did. It's almost like a chainsaw, isn't it? or like a, an electric butter knife. But I'm sure it's very deadly, whatever it is, in the context of the Star Wars universe. Uh, this one is more... Uh, Star Wars-like, I guess I would say. But as you see, he does kind of have a hard time holding it in his werewolf claws there. Uh, so I might just display him with this one and, and use this one for another figure. In fact, it came out so easy, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. But, like I said, his head doesn't move very well. But he swivels at the waist, swivels at the shoulders. It almost looks like his, he should have some more articulation there in the shoulders, but he doesn't. It's just a swivel. And at the uh, hips. Now, the... Uh, skirting down here on his jacket um, is made out of a, a softer plastic, but that is kind of sort of going to inhibit articulation just a little bit. I think he looks pretty good without that other weapon in his hand anyway. Probably looks even better without this one, but I'm going to leave one of these on display. This is probably the werewolf-looking creature from the, uh, uh, from the bar scene, the cantina scene in episode four, but uh, he almost looks like he's wearing Jedi robes, doesn't he? Uh, but, hey, good paint apps, good sculpting. It's a very menacing face. Let's take one look at it without... Ooh, that's even scarier. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So this figure exists, pals. It's part of the Power of the Force 2 line. I wouldn't pay more than five bucks for it. Um, I can't really tell you how to spend your money, but uh, you, I got this for five or less. You can too, okay? Well, pals, thanks so much for watching. May the Force be with you, and I'll talk to you again real soon.